Hey, it's Darius. I wanted to share one takeaway from our session today with Peg Rose. And if you got a chance to listen, it was incredibly powerful. And it's actually the reason I'm wearing these giant Coke bottle headphones that make me feel like I'm in a tunnel because I blew out my other set during the session. We opened up a lot of energy. And when that happens, or we get into some frequencies that are really high from an energy standpoint, we tend to short circuit equipment. And that's what happened today. Now, one of our beautiful listeners, Stephanie Braun, said she really loved this one part of the call. And it's a big question that we asked was, are you creating or operating from a place of victimhood or power, from a place of pain or power? And it really struck me because if we operate from a place of power or our true essence, then we operate from the place of divine. And that's like divine flow, divine inspiration, divine energy, divine possibility, divine oneness. We actually will create so much more in our life. We'll have unlimited source, unlimited reserves, unlimited ideas, unlimited possibilities, unlimited uh, doorways opening up. Whereas if we create from the place of victimhood or from a pain or from a feeling of lack, which I'll be honest, I've done in my life many a time. When I was married the first time, I'll be honest, that was a situation where I was creating because I was in fear. I was in pain and I was hoping that was going to fix something inside of me that was not healed yet. And as a result, that didn't work out. And it made me realize we cannot create. We cannot create a beautiful life if we come from a place of victim or pain or unfulfillment. So I wanted everyone just to ask this question. It's a huge takeaway, one of many from the call. Where are you creating right now in your life? Are you creating from a place of your own power, your own divine goodness, your own divine source, or are you creating from a place of pain? And Peg's session today was incredible. We did a core wound healing session with live frequency transmissions. And what that means is during these calls, you actually get energy sent in to you that works through your energy field to shift your vibration. And uh, if you enjoyed the call, let us know. It was one of my favorites and it is going to be big. We also talk about moving the energy around the spaces and places that you live. If you're in a home where you feel like there's a heaviness or you feel like there's something holding you back, we also move that energy. And I'll share, you know, in my life, I've actually had two places that I've lived in. One was a weekend place and it was haunted as we found out. And in about 30 minutes, my energy would collapse there and I would feel really heavy. It's really hard for me to stay happy, really happy, hard for me to stay positive. I've lived through that. I lived in a condo that had a lot of uh, energy because people around the area were older. There was a lot of death in the area. That place would suck my energy dry. I couldn't create there. I ended up making some of the most challenging decisions that weren't in my highest light in that place because I felt helpless. So if you're in a home or in an environment energetically where you feel like something isn't right, listen to this call. We're going to do movement of energy, clearing on spaces, and also in our own energy field. So we move away from any victimhood energy into that divine light energy. And so if you have a decision today, I advise you, be in that energy when you create. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you listened and what you think. Uh, I'm a little serious today because it was pretty awesome. But thanks for listening in and thanks for being in my life. And thank you, Stephanie Braun, for making me realize that was one of the key points today that we should cover. Thanks a lot, everyone. Much love.